sea otters. They're cute, they're cuddly, I kind of like the teddy bears of the ocean. Who wouldn't want to make sure that these animals are around? But to keep these cuties around, we need to consider all of the animals in their underwater ecosystem. Every organism in the wild lives in an ecosystem. They rely on other things for food, protection, habitat. Take sea otters. They live on the west coast of North America, and something they seem to love, which may not be appetizing to you, is spiky sea urchins. The urchins have a huge appetite too, though. They have five teeth, they're self-sharpening, and they munch along at the kelp forest. I know what you're thinking, poor kelp. It's at the bottom of the food chain, but it has a really big job to do. Kelp forests are stunning places with chains of kelp that run from the sea floor right up to the surface. They can be as high as 10 stories. Fish hide from predators in the kelp, and other organisms, not just sea urchins, eat the blades of this massive algae. And it's actually really important to people. It acts as a barrier. It protects our coastlines from waves and winds, and it also acts to suck up pollution along the way. The otters, the urchins, the kelp. Look at them all, existing in this perfectly balanced circle of beings. Now let's see what happens if we take an organism out of the ecosystem. I'm gonna pick the otter. That's what happened in the 1800s, when otters were hunted nearly to extinction during the fur trade. With no otters around to keep the sea urchins in check, these invertebrates went to town gobbling up the kelp forest. They don't know any better, they just see food and eat it. Some might say they're on a seafood diet. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. It's an awful joke. Uh -huh. Pretty soon, the urchins had no kelp to feed on, and the fish that hid in the kelp were all eaten by predators. The ecosystem collapsed into a barren seafloor full of hungry urchins. Let's put this otter back. Now that it's back in the circle, we have a beautiful feedback loop. The otter relies on the urchins, the urchins rely on the kelp, and the kelp is kept safe by the otters. So when you say you want to save the otter, what you're actually saying is that you want to save the entire ecosystem and the animals that live in it. You want to save the otter, you want to save the kelp, and you want to save the sea urchin. Now you know.